Welcome to the 2020-2021 NFL Playoffs. We are down to 14 teams. Two teams get a bye and don't have to play a wild card weekend. 12 teams have to play a wild card weekend. Next two days, we're going to go over each conference. First day today, we are going over the NFC. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we will be going over the AFC. Wednesday, I will have picks for the wild card weekend. Uh, super wild card weekend, as they're calling it this week, because it's three games each day. Um, Thursday, I'm going to have another video based around the wild card. Friday, another video based around the wild card. And then Saturday or Sunday, or both days, uh, I'm going to pick a game or two to stream. Um, and it is we're just going to you know just celebrate the wild card weekend. We have made it. Uh, no games have been canceled. We've had games postponed. No games have been canceled. Every single NFL game has been played this year. And now we get to the good stuff. <laughs> uh, so over the past, uh, what, three weeks now, I have looked at, uh, this right here, looked at who is going to, you know, who has the best chance of making it, who is probably going to get eliminated. Um, Last week, there was uh, three teams on the NFC side, one team on the AFC side. Colts snuck in. Uh, as I said in my um, Week 17 picks, I said that the Dolphins were going to lose and they were going to get eliminated, and they did. So Dolphins are out on the AFC side, NFC side. Cardinals are eliminated, um, and I alluded to this too. I did say Cardinals have a shot um, with Jared Goff being out. Um, but they did not play well. Kyler Murray was obviously injured. Um, so Cardinals got eliminated, which means the Bears snuck in, even though they lost to the Packers. Also, Packers locked up that one seed after beating the Bears. Seattle did win, but we didn't. it didn't matter what happens. As long as the Packers won Week 17 against the Bears, they locked up that one seed. Um, if you have not seen that video, I went and just broke down and talked about the Packers game yesterday. So, we have, uh, what, 13 days <laughs> without Packers football, so I have a whole weekend of stress-free football. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. This is, you know, waiting for Saturday cannot come fast enough. Um, I should have pulled it up. Uh, no, yeah, no, I, I, we can just talk about it here. Um, there was... So basically, seven seed plays the second seed. So Saints uh, host the Bears. Uh, so Bears head down to uh, Louisiana. Um, Seattle hosts the Rams again. So they just played literally week 16 to the plan again. And then the Washington football team hosts the Bucks. Uh, now, I don't fully understand what was, you know, everything that's going on with this. Uh, apparently, Doug Peterson pulled. Uh, Jalen Hurts out, and I think it was like the last drive or whatever, and they put in the third string or something like that, and, uh, you know, they didn't score. Um, so I don't know. Uh, people are up in arms and mad about that game. I didn't really pay attention to that game because <laughs> I was <laughs> I watched six hours of football, and I'm like, you know what, I just, I just need a break. Um, so I didn't watch the end of this game. I watched, like, first, first quarter maybe. Uh, of the game, and then, you know, I switched it off, so I don't know everything that happened, but people are mad about, you know, Washington football getting in when, I mean, it wasn't really their fault when, you know, you, you have your own coach pulling your best QB out. Um, yeah, I mean, Giants fans are mad. I don't know why you're mad when, you know, that should have been a fumble. Dallas should have recovered the ball there, uh, where the guy dropped, uh, dropped the ball in his hand, fumbled the ball, um, and they called it where he basically sat on it with his butt. They called that a recovery by the Giants. Um, so I don't know why the Giants fans are mad when you <laughs> you could have very easily lost that game. So, you know, if you're a Giants fan, I <laughs> better sit down for this one. <laughs> um, but again, I don't, I don't know what's going on with Philly. Uh, I don't know, you know, everything that's going on. But Washington football team is the fourth uh, seed, which means they play host to Tampa. Um, very good games coming up. So, uh, I forget who plays Saturday and who plays Sunday. Um, actually, well, Saints and Bears play Saturday, Sunday. Saint, they play Sunday because that, that's that's on Nick. Um, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to tune into that. Um, so it's on, uh, I believe it's on CBS, CBS also. 
um, and then other stations around the U.S. Uh, and well, you know, you can probably get it around the world too. Um, I I don't know what that's gonna look like for Nick. Apparently, they're gonna add special effects and whatnot. So I think the game might be further behind on Nick if they're gonna be adding special effects and whatnot. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, I. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that, but uh, Bears and uh, Saints are on Nick. Everyone else is on, you know, ABC, Fox, uh, CBS, you know, normal channels. I think there's an ESPN game on. Um, so, you know, it's just, you know, basic channels. That Nick is the only one that's, you know, throwing the curveball in there. Um, so, you know, it, it, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, they're a night game, so I think there's, I think there's Saturday again. I f I forget, uh, and I forgot to bring my phone down. Crap. Um, I believe there's Saturday. I don't know if I can. What was that? Um, can I pull this up with this? Show me if I go. Oops. Uh, if I go wildcard, will it show me? Uh, it does. Perfect. Okay, yeah. So they are Saturday. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So we got two. Yeah, and then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, we got uh, some really good games. So we start off. Uh, again, we're, we're, we're going to focus only on the NFC. So obviously, Colts and Bills are the noon 12 uh, 12.05 game. Um, but first, NFC game. Uh, Rams and uh, Seahawks. So, again, they just played two weeks ago. Um, Seattle basically locked up the division with that win two weeks ago. And then, you know, last week against the Niners, they were basically just playing to see if they could get that number one seed. But because the Packers won, because well, they would have – I mean, they needed the Saints to lose too, I believe. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just they, – they didn't have a big shot. That's why they had like a 5% chance. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know if Jared Goff is coming back. Uh, there have again. I'm recording this on what is it? Is it Monday or Tuesday? I don't even. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already lost four days in Monday. Okay, yeah. Oh, I, I should know that. <laughs> I'm four days into 2021 and I'm lost. Um, so I don't, I don't know if, uh, Jared Goff is playing again. I, I think he's still hurt. Uh, his thumb is still hurt. So I, I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, I didn't watch the Rams game at all because it was on at the same time as the Packers game. So I don't know who was their QB at the time. Um. So, I, I, I mean, you know, I Seattle could very easily move on. Again, they have a home game. So, uh, I mean, it's just, it is, we'll see what happens. But, again, I, I don't know what to think of the Rams because they suck against teams like the Jets. They lost to the Jets. Uh, and then, you know, they play really good against, you know, good teams. Uh, sometimes, 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 I should say. Not always. Not <laughs> Um, cause I think that they, they are split. They're one and one against Seattle. So, um, but I mean, it's just, you know, they're, they're a roller coaster. You never know what you're going to get with them. Uh, you never know if you're going to be high, if you're going to, you know, be low. It's just, you know, you don't know what you're going to get with them, with the Rams. Um, but that, you know, it'd be interesting again, it's a divisional rival. So a divisional rival wild card weekend, anything in the playoffs, divisional rivals are going to be really interesting. Um, then we have next game is the Bucks and the Washington football team. Oops. Uh, so, uh, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're the Bucks, I mean, you're glad you don't have to face the Giants again. Because, uh, again, technically this should have gone to OT. You could say they probably could have won an OT, yada, yada, yada. Um, Washington football team has a better front, in my opinion, than the Giants. Uh, so, you know, we could see some pressure on there. Uh... You know, that defense is decent. Again, they, they're going to be basically at full strength. Alex Smith is back. Uh, they have uh, Terry McLaurin, I believe is his last name. Uh, I'm, I butcher that probably. <laughs> uh, you know, they have their uh, uh, running back, Gibson back. Um, you know, they're basically at full strength now. And, you know, they, they struggled against the Eagles. But, again, it's a divisional rival. So, anything can happen any given Sunday. Uh, while I do think the Bucks are going to win this, and I'm going to pick them most likely for my uh, wild card pick. Um, I would not be surprised if Washington makes it all the, of the wild card round. If they beat the uh, the uh, Bucks, I would not be shocked at all. So 
it, it, you know, it's one of those things where this team can look really good, but they can look sloppy. Whatever team we get, just like the Rams, uh, you know, whatever you get is what's out there. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens with this game, but I, I think this could be, you know, a really interesting game to watch. Uh, this is, again, it's a night slot. Uh, 8.15, 7.15 Central, uh, oh, okay, so it's set to my time, so 8.15 Eastern, and then, you know, you go back, 17.15, uh, 7.15, <laughs> 17.15, um, 7.15, you know, Central, 6.15 Mountain, and then Pacific is, uh, 5.15, so, you know, uh, spoiled if you're on the West Coast, yeah, I, I mean, it, it is what it is, you're, <laughs> <laughs> Early games, five five o'clock games, you know, ten a.m. games. This this will be ten o five for you. I mean, you're you're just spoiled. Uh, that's, that's all it is. So, <laughs> um, then we have Sunday games. Uh, again, this one's gonna be on uh, CBS, but it's also gonna be on Nick. You know, special effects and whatnot. Um, Saints host the Bears, and uh, I I almost just said metronome. I, no, uh, oh my god, I already forgot the name of the thing. It, no, it is the match. No, that's Vikings. I already forgot the name of it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, but uh, the last time these two played, these two teams played, this game went into OT. Uh, obviously, Bears had Foles out there instead of um, Trubisky. Uh, so Foles could not run, and they were able to basically, you know, beat up on the Saints, take them to OT. Saints uh, barely won. Um, I would not be shocked if the Bears pull this out. Uh, I can see this happening. Oops. This is more likely to happen than Washington beating the Bucks, in my opinion. But I can see both happening. I can see both of them uh, winning out. Um, I, it's just Saints, you know, sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't. Uh, you know, people are going to point to the Alvin Kamara six-touchdown game against the uh, Vikings, but they don't realize or they fail to, you know, care that the Vikings had, you know, practice squad. So, I mean, this Bears defense is basically full of strength. Um, they did have one of their uh, best defensive, uh, was it defensive end or whatever, defensive lineman basically, um, go down against the Packers. He got hurt. That turf, by the way, that uh, Chicago turf, uh, Soldier Field, just did not look good. There was six people, seven people that went down in the first half of that game yesterday. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really talk about it in my breakdown video, but that turf just... Did not look good for players' health and safety out there. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> uh, and, the, you know, both teams said uh, some people go out for the game. So, I, I mean, it's just, if they can get, uh, I forget who it was uh, that went down, but um, if they can get him back by uh, Sunday, because, again, they play Sunday, so they have an extra day uh, versus, you know, the other two um, NFC teams. I like that they, you know, switch it up. You know, you got two NFC teams uh, here, and then you have uh, two AFC teams here for Sunday. I like that. Um, and I, I just think it's cool that instead of, you know, having all one conference one day, all con one conference the other day, you know, you throw a curveball in there and you, because <laughs> then, you know, you have an, uh, teams that have an extra day prepare and whatnot. Um, but, you know, it's just, you, you know, this game is going to be really interesting. Uh, you, Bears could pull a Vikings on here, on them. <laughs> they, they could. That's going to really make Saints fans mad. <laughs> but they could pull a Vikings. They could come out swinging, beat them. And then the Bears would end up facing the Packers in the divisional round. Um, so, you know, we have home field advantage. Uh, technically, you know, first four have home field advantage. But, you know, it is, you know, it's Packers. It runs through Lambo. Is the Super Bowl, uh, you have to get through Lambo to basically get to the Super Bowl is what it is. So, um, you know, I, I, we, kind of, we got a wild for Packers. Um, but, uh, you know, I could see the Bears coming. Otherwise, if... If the Bears lose, uh, but but will Seattle really, or will the Rams? I don't know if Rams can beat Seattle again. I, I don't know. Uh, because we either would face the Rams or the Bucks. Um, now I would not be. I I mean, some people are worried about the Bucks. I'm not super worried. Again, we played down in Florida last time, down in oh, Tampa, Florida. Um, you know, you're coming up to Lambeau. It's going to be 40 degrees colder up here in Lambeau than it is down there in uh, Tampa. So, I mean, you know, I'm not super worried about playing Tampa. Um, I mean, 
Rams again. Rams either. Bears are the only team. I mean, they, they literally play in the snow just like we did. Like it was what thirty some degrees. Well, actually, it would probably be nighttime. Well, in nighttime, it'd be colder. So probably you know down in the twenties down in uh, Soldier Field. Um, so I mean, Bears are the only team that know how to play in the cold. Everyone else, Rams, Bucks. Uh, well, Washington football team does. Uh, you know, you're, you're playing out on the West Coast. It's more so rainy and warm than it is anything, and then you're playing a dome. So, I mean, literally Bears, and then you could say Washington football team are the only teams in the NFC that have played in cold weather. Everyone else is either a dome team or a warm weather team. So, I, I mean, I'm not opposed to either one coming here. I, I'm not. Um, I think it, it'd be a way different game against Tampa than it was. Uh, and I think, you know, it just depends. If Jared Goff is, well, I mean, I Jared Goff, you know, is meh. He's, he's not... Not well, you could say it's not even top 15 uh, QB wise. Um, so I mean, whoever their back of is, I don't even know who it is, but uh, you know, Rams could you, you know show up with their backup, they couldn't again. This is all if Jared Goff uh, and his thumb, uh, you know, if he can't play with his uh, thumb, he is putting uh, or, yeah, surgery is postseason, so just depends on what happens with the Rams there. But I mean, you know, if I'm the Packers, I'm not. Too worried. Again, I, I'm i more so worried about the Bears again for the third time. Uh, Saints, but again, we won't have to face the Saints if they make it to the uh, NFC Championship game. It would be the time we have to face the Saints. Uh, Seattle has to come to Green Bay. So I am not super worried. We already beat them last year in Green Bay. But that, I mean, a year has passed since then. Things have changed since then. Both, uh, well... Uh, you, you could say both teams have gotten better, and you could say both defenses have gotten worse. <laughs> uh, um, again, Washington football team, I, I mean, that would have to be, again, probably an NFC Championship game too, honestly. Um, so, I, I mean, first three right here are probably NFC Championship games, but they have to make it past Tampa, the Rams, and the Bears. So, uh, I mean, anything can happen. Uh, there's, you know, you're in the playoffs – Teams are going to play for their hearts out. They're going to try to win this. And it's just, you know, it's one and done. So you don't have, you know, a week where you can, you know, fail. Um, you know, teams can upset. Things can happen. Uh, it's the playoffs. This is the hype time of the year. Uh, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Uh, sucks, you know. Well, I'm not, I'm not mad that, you know, we have to wait two weeks. It's just, you know, uh, well, for the Packers, I should say. Um, it's, you know, I don't have to get my heart rate rosen, <laughs> heart rate, you know, <laughs> going to cardiac arrest or anything, like heart attack. Um, you know, I don't, I don't have to have that next week. So I get a break <laughs> from that. Uh, all Packer fans do. Um, but you know, it's just 13 days or whatever it's going to be. Uh, cause I don't think, do they have, uh, I don't think they would have Chiefs or Packers set up for a day yet, would they? No, okay, yeah, so we don't, we don't even know. It could be, you know, 12 days, could be 13 days. It just depends on if Packers play Saturday or Sunday. Um, and I'm pretty sure the Chiefs would play the opposite day as us. So, you know, whatever day Packers play the opposite day, I'm guessing it would be Chiefs because I'm guessing you want two number one seeds, two different days because that's like the highlight game basically. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, again, I will have wild card picks coming out. Um, I'm going to go – kind of in depth because again there's only three games from each or well yeah three games to each conference um six games in total so uh for now i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here um like the video share the video around don't forget to subscribe <sighs> we made it <laughs> we're here six games uh six really good games i should say too i i mean we're gonna talk about titans and ravens tomorrow uh colts and bills are gonna be good again tampa washington uh uh, Seattle and Rams are going to be good. Uh, this game, Bears and Saints are going to be good. Uh, this one, probably the least hype uh, for it. I'm probably more hyped for this game because it's more of a wild card game. You know, it's actually, you know, what could happen versus, you know, this game is, you know, uh, Brown snuck in. So, <laughs> uh, but now we're going to get done out of here. Peace.